Okay, another effectoral graph is the time effector. The time effector is for animating object of the clone or any object without keyframing. It's very interesting. <clears throat> for example, if you want to give the effector to the one object, you can uh, create it to the one object. If you want to assign the effector to the one object, you can, these are purple, you have to bring them under the object. And as you can see, if you go to the um, selection in the parameter, as you can see, it's the rotation. In the deformer, set it to the object. In the deformer, set it to the object. And as you can see, the object are rotating based on the frame. Any frame that you uh, <clears throat> assign, it's turning infinite. Going to the parameter, you can change rotation of each axis that you want. Or you can scale it, or you can uh, change the position. For example, if you change the position to the this axis, it's go up at the time. Oh, it's very small number. As you can see, it's go to the time to infinite. So with a time effector, you can rotate object, uh, also objects are purple and you can uh, assign under the object. Another method for doing that is a cloner. If you clone something like this, you can assign, select the cloner and assign a MoGraph effector to time. And as you can see, it's automatically turned on and the deformer is off. So if you want to assign the time <coughs> effector to the object in a deformer, set it to the object. Okay, in a parameter, we have a rotation in a vector. Say it again, please. Uh, refer to the previous lesson. I explained them before all of its parameters. Okay, it's very easy. It doesn't have anything. Just you can change the parameter or you can assign the <coughs> field. Okay, for example, in a cloner, in an endpoint, we add a more object here and we set the time instead of the rotation to the position in the Y axis. If you set it in the Y axis, whole uh, cloner go up. Here you can find, assign, a, for example, a box field here and the object in a field they are going up and you can change the number of them here like this okay <clears throat> you can change the field and uh, change it like this as you can see it's a time it's going to the infinite till this frame end Okay, this is in time, so you can assign it to the object and assign it to the cloner also. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.